with Kathy's Garden and I'm so happy that you've joined me today. Today is hashtag Kathy Sewing Happiness in which we're going to make faux rice paper. But first let's have our shout out to Trudy, Lynn, Nancy, Cecilia, Jenny, Debbie and Joyce. I appreciate each and every one of you. All right you guys I want to give credit to Carrie Teeters and Sharon Heroth. This is where I got my inspiration so we're going to use those beautiful napkins. Now if you don't have any napkins, you can pop over to my Etsy store. I have some bundles in which you can pick up and I do have a sale over there on my Etsy store going on. So anyway, you want to get your, <coughs> your um, freezer paper. All right, and freezer paper has a side that is not shiny and a side that is shiny. You want the shiny side up, okay? So my wax paper always, not wax paper, my freezer paper always rolls up like this, and so I'm fighting it. So what I did for the video was I cut it to size and I taped it with some, some tape. I taped my corners down. All right, <clears throat> then, so you could see everything that was going on, I cut my napkin. Now, I went ahead and I separated all my layers of my napkin. You guys, this is a project in which you can use these layers as well as this layer. So you can use all the layers of the napkin and make rice paper. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's so much fun. It really is. You, you see it done and then you go, oh really? Can that really work like that? And then you make it yourself and it's like, ah, it really works like that. It's super cool. Okay, so then I have my white school glue. I have my applicator that I'm going to put on my paper. I have my stir brush and I have a little bit of cleanup material. I'm going to move this out of the way and I'm going to bring in an empty container okay and I'm going to put some well hopefully I can oh my goodness okay I got it open now I'm going to put some glue just right here in my bowl okay I've got my glue in there now I added a little bit of coffee to my water now I kind of got carried away when I was practicing. I kind of tend to add too much coffee. A little dabble, do you guys? If you put too much coffee, it gets pretty dark, and then you have a problem um, seeing through the wax paper. And I like to see through the wax paper, although it's a super cool um, consistency, whether you can see through it or not, because it, it is super cool. So. I'm just going to stir this up. This is kind of thin for my liking, so I'm going to add just a little bit more glue here. All right, so get this lid back on so nothing happens to my glue. And you just want to stir it up. So you're going to have a consistency of like this. Can you even see that consistency? I don't even know if you can see that consistency. Okay, we got that. Now, I'm just going to wipe this off. I'm going to keep all of this. All right, now, we're going to, uh, oh, I know what I was going to show you. I want to show you a nice little Thing to do when you've got your napkin now I just cut this to size so y'all can see real well on here is to take your now I have this somewhere here it is I my pen my marker and I just marked kind of where I need to put the glue mixture down okay so I've got an idea now because I'm going to remove that and I just personally pour it on just like this and you're going to go on the outside so this was on the outside my marks were bigger than my actual napkin so you're going to go out towards the edge 
and you're going to actually just move this glue everywhere okay and you want to you do have to have it everywhere you have to have it on all the area where your napkin is going to lay down now I also ironed my napkins I ironed them with all of the layers before I separated them and it just to me it made it so it wasn't so uh, crinkly when I put it back down on here all right so I've got it down it's pretty nice and thick and here's my napkin I've got the fan going on so <laughs> I hope I can get this down without it messing up on me I'm gonna lay this down can't pick it up much more whoa whoa and whoa and whoa corners are going to be messed up a little bit I'm fiddling too much with it okay let's lay it down now you're going to take your mixture again I just pour it on top and you're going to spread it out just like this wrinkles and all gently gently spread it out now if you've got a hole that that happens kind of take the napkin that's come up and kind of tap it back on to kind of fill your hole one of these napkins that I'm going to show you that I've finished and it's dry I will show you what it looks like when you have a hole and some people think it's okay to have a hole I mean if you're doing you know um, that kind of look it really doesn't matter it might matter to you sometimes I have a I have a problem getting my napkins done I'm doing this because I've got crinkles in it and the crinkles are coming out the napkins letting me do it and I'm getting that crinkle out so I'm just letting them letting it do it and once I start getting a hole in it I'll stop doing it but allowed me to get that crinkle out of it so okay so no I don't have enough right here let's get some more right here now this is going to take a good overnight sometimes a little longer if it's rainy outside okay all right so let me move this and I'll be right back all right you guys here is one that is completely dry now all you need to do is go to a corner and just pull the paper down and you see how it's it's coming off and it just pulls off oops <clears throat> you do have to be a little careful but it will pull off there we go I saw one of the ladies use an exacto knife around the edge I'm not good with knives so I just do mine this way isn't that cool super duper cool and that is why you have to go a little outside your area that you've marked so that it will have this on the edge and this just simply you can just pull it off or you can cut it if you want I just pull it off like this it's just that glue with a little bit of coffee dyed in it now this is super cool you oh my goodness look at this so here's a piece of music paper look you can see the music right through it especially right here where there isn't any print oh my gosh you can use it as a page in your journals just like this like you oh my gosh isn't that beautiful you could use it as a page 
I can see all kinds of things. Now, this one right here, I got carried away with my coffee. I mean, I really got carried away with my coffee. So it's dark, but I did want to show you that. Can you see that I sewed it? I even sewed it here. Now, see, it has no um, music paper on it, and I actually sewed right on this, and I made a cute little envelope. Isn't it looks like leather? This this one looks like leather because I added so much coffee to it. Now look, here's one that I added more coffee than the one we just made. Like I was telling you, I got a little carried away with the coffee thing. But let's take this one off. You guys, they're really quite addictive. Warning, they are addictive. You just find the end where you can get it to come up. Let's see where I might have to get an exacto knife. All my others came up just fine. Of course, on the video it's not going to. But that's okay because then that shows you that um, that maybe yours would do this too. Mine has never done this before. There's the edge. Okay. I'm just lifting that, put the exacto knife underneath. Okay. I see this is how this works. It's not, it's not hard at all. Yeah. No, that's not hard at all. You can do that. Yeah. Okay. So, whoops. Let's take this one off. This is so much fun. Look at that. It just comes right off. Now, this is, I know what I was going to tell you. I put the si shiny side inside. See how this is the shiny side inside? Now, if you want to make, oh, look at this one. This one really, 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 you can see through. Oh, my gosh. You guys, isn't that super cool? It's super cool. Now, you can make, uh, you can make little envelopes or little tucks without even lining it. And I would put the shiny side on the inside so that anything that you added into it would slide right in because it's smooth on the inside. Oh, you guys, I absolutely had so much fun doing this. Let's, I don't know if you guys are interested, but I sure am interested. Let's see what this one looks like. Taken up, it's a black and white one with a little bit of coffee dye on it. Like I said, it was one of those that I kind of put a lot of coffee dye. Now, you don't have to put any coffee dye if you don't want to. You don't have to put any at all. Oh, my goodness. Isn't that beautiful? It's so beautiful. That's the shiny side. And this is the side that is not shiny. Oh, my goodness. You guys, I get so excited over this. This one, I put super, a whole bunch of coffee dyed on this one. And let's see if we can, I get too excited. I just want to rip it off, and I need to just take my time. And I get too excited. Okay, so let's see about this one. You guys, you can get, see, it doesn't, my hand doesn't show through as much on this one because I use so much coffee on it, but it would be absolutely beautiful as a page in your journal. Oh my goodness, you guys, I just think this is so much fun. I hope you've enjoyed this little tutorial. I hope that you give it a thumbs up and that you subscribe to my channel. I invite you to subscribe to my channel. And this is the video in which we have a drawing for Happy Mail. And the Happy Mail is you, what you do to receive your Happy Mail, is in the comment section of this video, spread a little kindness. Ka hashtag Kathy Sewing Happiness. Let someone in line when you're waiting in traffic. Let someone go ahead of you at the grocery store. You've got 50 items. They've got two. S just easy, simple acts of kindness, and you will have no idea how much that will lift someone's spirits 
and could possibly change their whole outlook for that day. All right, you guys, these are people that helped me sew happiness last week. So if you would like to get in the drawing for next week, this is when you put your act of kindness in the comment section of this video. And you will be in the fishbowl for next Sunday. Down in the description below will be my email address and a very easy and simple way of getting the information of your address to me so I can send you out Happy Mail. The last couple times I'm having a really hard time getting my emails from y'all. So a lot of you have gone to my Instagram account and messaged me with your uh, address that way. I don't know what's happening. I got a new phone and that is what's mm, the only thing I can point to it is the new phone. Somehow I'm not synced up quite right and the problem is on my end. Try both of them. Try the email address and try my Instagram account. Okay, you guys. All right. Who wins Happy Mail this week? Whoop. Got some sequins. Christine Coulter. Christine, you have won Happy Mail this week. You guys, you've got to try this faux rice paper. It is awesome. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.